As of this afternoon, there's a new legal battle in Wisconsin when it comes to abortion. The governor and attorney general here announced today that they would challenge the state's 173-year-old abortion ban in court. Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Will? So today is the first step in determining what the impact of Friday's decision will mean for Wisconsin women, with the attorney general asking today whether the state's 1849 law is legally relevant. Uh, it can't be both legal and illegal to provide an abortion to protect the health of a mother. Attorney General Josh Call says there is still a legal gray area of the state's abortion law. There are a series of laws that were passed subsequent to Roe that provide regulation for lawful abortions in Wisconsin. Uh, those statutes are directly inconsistent with Wisconsin's 19th century abortion ban. So he's asking a Dane County court to determine which law the state must follow. This comes after Call announced he would not use state resources to enforce the 1849 abortion ban, which would punish doctors who perform essentially any abortion. Governor Evers said he would also grant clemency to doctors convicted under the ban. And if Republicans won't do their part, what's right, and help the people of the state, then we will. For their part, Republicans decried the lawsuit. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss said in a statement today that, quote, once again, we will do Attorney General Call's job and vigorously defend the law. It's sad that Evers and Call want to break the law instead of work with the legislature. Evers had called the legislature into special session earlier this month to debate abortion, but Republicans gaveled out the session without debate. And abortion hit the campaign trail, too. Republican gubernatorial candidates met at a forum in Green Bay last night, promising to go after any district attorney that doesn't prosecute abortion providers. I will not hesitate to remove district attorneys who refuse to follow the law, whether it is on protecting the unborn, whether it is on refusing to prosecute election fraud, or whether it is on being soft on crime. So the suit will be filed in Dane County Court and couldn't make its way all the way up to the state Supreme Court. The bench leans conservative by a 5-4 margin, but does have a swing justice, which makes it unclear at this point.